Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last episode, we talked about how to make API call in the Google Colab to interact with the function from stable audio. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to put together a radio app and deploy that on Hugging Face Spaces. Uh, so this is the user interface that I'm seeing right here in this text box. You can put in whatever idea that you have. Let's say I have a light rock music with guitar and that's my prompt, right? And I hear a couple of parameters that you can play around with. Uh, once you hit submit, it takes uh, like a minute or two to render and generate this audio. And then uh, you can listen to it. <laughs> And then you can download it or share it. You get the idea. So let's go into the back end to talk about this user interface and how do we put that together. Uh, so here there are files. Uh, this is open source. You can come in here, download this, play around with yourself. The first thing I want to talk about is the requirements. That is a dependency. So we need Torch. Uh, we need Torch Audio. And then we need stable audio tools. And once you have the requirements set up, now we can go into the app.py. In the app.py here, something very interesting. Uh, so once you imported all the required functions, the first thing you want is a low model function uh, that actually gets you the model from Stability AI, Stable Audio Open 1.0. Uh, it will return the model artifact and model configuration. Uh, and then that's something that you will need downstream in your code. Uh, so first thing to do is uh, you will have this main function here that's generate audio. Uh, this is basically the most of the heavy lifting happens here. Uh, there are a couple of input parameters. The uh, most important thing is obviously the prompt, right? Uh, whatever prompt, uh, whatever idea that you're having to generate that kind of music, that is what you enter here. So uh, we set up uh, CUDA uh, that makes sure that it's the GPU, not CPU. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have the wrong CPU. I tried on CPU. Unfortunately, it's very slow. Uh, the second thing that's important is to fetch the Hugging Face token. So to set up this token, you need to come up here to the setting. And then the setting allows you to create a secret if you scroll down here. And all you got to do is create a new secret and you'll be able to create a name and value. And that's how you set up the secret key. Now, once the secret key is set up, you'll be able to use os.getInf uh, to call that HF token secret, and that will give you the token. Now, of course, uh, the first important thing is to load the model, and then you want to move the model to device, set up the condition, set up the configuration file, and now you're able to make that API call using generate diffusion count function. Uh, this function will, of course, carry the model artifact, a couple of other parameters, as well as the conditioning, which is here, which carries all of the conditionings, prompts, things like that. Once this function is being called, it will actually create the output. And then you just process it like we talked about from previous video. And then in the end, you can save it as some sort of .wav file. So that is the back end. That is the main heavy lifting that's happening here in the general audio function. And then last thing but not least, you just need to design the interface, right? So the fortunate thing is radio interface provide you very easy coding process for you to set it up. Now you really don't need much, right? You have input and then you have output. The input is a listed radio objects, such as text box, slider, things like that. The output is a radio audio and that will allow you to play the wave function. And now last but not least, don't forget the function here that you want to call, right? So this interface is backed by the main function generate audio. And the generate audio is the main heavy lifting, right? That we defined up here. So with that being said, that's really it. Uh, you just need to launch it in the end. And then there you go, you have your app ready. So I'll leave the URL of this app in the bottom of the video. Feel free to play around it and see if you can come up with interesting music. With that being said, hopefully this video sheds some lights, give you a couple of new tools. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.